at lunch and they've taken off these two pieces from the top. <coughs> they've got their, no it's okay, they've got their space all set up. Now we're going into the sun. This is the rocket upside down. They're getting it ready for the, so this is everybody getting it ready. The rocket's upside down and they're discussing how straight the camera should be. Okay, we've got the rocket out there now. We've got the fins put on. They've got the, one of the top pieces on. Hey, get that little uh, piece of pipe. I put yeah. it on the trailer. It's, no, it's back in my truck now. The little piece I of pipe. I don't want you to put it. What the do I I'll get the other one. Alright, come on down with them. Right there. You guys need this sledgehammer at all? Yeah, shoulder. Sure. You pound it. Thank you. Apparently, the charge is under the chute. They want it on top of the chute, but the wire isn't long enough. So there's group discussion. The lowering of the launch rail. Towards me. Top towards me. Don't scratch anything. Okay, we're touching. You're going to have to straighten it up. Or just you got to come towards me, buddy. There it goes. Oh, wait. Okay, you got you to take the end of it that right. way. And now they're putting the launch pad together. So the launch pad is being built and they're putting in the secures. All right, we just took a group picture now. Everybody's scattering. There goes Scotty and Jerry. We're almost ready. All right, we've had to move way back to the corner now. Allegedly, it's going to happen any moment. What the heck are we going to fly a Midwest Power this year? Uh, Brent Lillizan and I uh, were talking about an upscale Outlander. It was just talk for a while. But uh, back in June, we started working every Tuesday night on this thing. It's a 7.38 uh, upscale, uh, has a 12 inch central body tube. Uh, Ken Herrick has uh, built us uh, four big L EX motors to get it off the ground. Uh, L's Hobby Shop sponsored the cost of propellant. I want to thank L's Hobby Shop for that. Okay, this is a pretty complex rocket. The uh, seven and a half inch uh, tubes house electronics as well as a booster vision camera. The uh, Rocket's going to take off and then the timer is going to start for G79 Smoky Sam spin motors. And when we uh, push the button on the uh, wireless remote control uh, at the right time, the uh, saucer is going to take off on a K510 Cesaroni motor. The rocket's going to recover in four separate sections. The tip of the nose cone weighs about 22 pounds. It recovers under a parachute, the saucer recovers under a parachute that pops out of a hatch in the side of the saucer. Uh, that's a Skyhawk XL. Uh, the uh, red part of the saucer underneath the blue, blue uh, saucer, uh, the red part underneath there recovers under a separate parachute. And the booster is uh, supposedly going to recover under a 28 foot parachute. It's out at the away cell. Uh, you see where that big rail, where Gabe's big pad is? We're off to the left a little bit. If you uh, if you were here yesterday, you saw it set up and it, it, over by our trailer, but uh, you may never see it again in uh, the shape that it looked like yesterday or right now. <laughs> <laughs>
We have a lot of electronics in here, a lot of money in here. Uh, one week ago, we were testing the uh, WRC that we were borrowing from uh, Good Buddy, and uh, it didn't work. And uh, we were kind of in a fix. And I called Tim, and Tim agreed to uh, sponsor the flight with uh, a Missile Works WRC for the uh, Outlander project. I want to thank Tim and Wildman Rocketry for his sponsorship of the uh, Outlander project. So without further ado, I'm going to go out there uh, with my ride here and uh, get in position to videotape and uh, Tim can take it away. There it goes. Too. If it lands on its feet, man, that'll be... Okay, where? Look at the smoke. It's still smoking. Yeah. Come on, land on its feet. All right, Ab, go get it. Land on your feet. See where it is? Wait, wait. Yeah! Right yeah! Oh, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, probably. Woo-hoo! <laughs> it landed on its feet. Well, it's okay, though. It's so stable. Was it? Oh, oh man. I reckon you can make it a lot easier. I mean, where was that? Here's one of the tops. We are way out in the field. That's where we were. We're still missing the panel in the very, very top part. Happy team. Except Jerry.